say Comcast, I guess, huh? Affirmative, and then sometimes they get a good downlink, and other times it just isn't there, but there's, you know, no change to the equipment here, so I don't know what the deal is. Uh, however, one of the things you do not see Saturday, in which I can show it to you on the tube right now, are you ready? We are ready, willing, and able. We're standing by, W2NYC with K6MSW. Oh, my God. That's it, huh? That's the new one? Affirmative. This is my new ENG camera. Wow, that's a beauty. Turn it sideways so I can see it sideways, please. Oh, you put the small little uh, modulator on there. Okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there was a battery pack directly up in the back of that. Oh, wow, that's awesome. All right, stay sideways for a second. Don't move. Oh, my God, look at that. It's got a boom mic on it, too. Wonderful. Uh, I don't have the battery to power the modulator. You Basically, there's like two boxes that you see on here. One is the Drake mini modulator, which I can set to any cable TV uh, channel, you know, 2 through 99. Actually, it goes to up to channel 125, but, you know, we would use uh, either 57, 58, 59, or 60 for amps. Those are amateur television frequencies. Um, anyway, but, and then also the little box over there is my call sign ID overlay, in which, um, you know, this uh, camera right here does not have the call sign ID overlay like you see on right there. But if you look closely, what makes this thing real Uber ENG is that it has a square lens hood, because that's what all the real ENG guys have these days. I just noticed that. But of course, oh, I see, yes, yes. Highly professional, my good man, JVC, wow. It's even got a cover and a case on it? Yeah, that's great. It's got a cover for a rain case. Is that waterproof or something? That's the size of the tape. Oh, that was. Oh, you lucky dog. Wow, look at that. That's hot stuff. Is it lighter than the other camera you had? I can see that. There's the window. Yeah, that's super. Good grief. So now is this much lighter than the other one? You can put it sideways like the new cameras. Yeah, that's great. Well, you sure got a nice little deal on that. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can't see the picture, but I can tell it's on. But you have to have that flap open if you put that up. Unless you take that whole thing off. And I don't know if I'd keep that flap thing on there. Basically, this cover on it, it has Velcro on the back, so then I could strap on the... You know, the, uh, you know, like the TV, uh, you know, the modulator, which is my, you know, low-range uh, UHF television transmitter, and then also my call sign overlay. That's on that black box, which is uh, um, on screen. It's from Intuitive Systems. Anyway, it's about, I guess it's a, maybe a little lighter than, than the one I had before, but, man, you should see the output on this thing. Oh, I mean, it is, it is like, I, wow. Uh, but guess what? Drop your signal and see how it works out. <laughs> now there is a broadcast picture. Holy catfish. I knew you'd do it someday. Oh, that is so neat. You gotta tape this. Can you tape it? Taping it at work, because right now, um, as you can see, this is all I can see with the uh, Comcast interference. But I'm kind of wondering if the Hilltop transmitter, I don't know if, that, how, if it's putting out a reasonably strong signal or if it's weakened or whatever. So
So right now I have absolutely nothing except I'm looking at this box. You know, the one with the square uh, lens hood. Beautiful. There's nothing wrong with the transmitter, man. That sucker's putting out full power. I'm just concerned about your where you have that thing. Um, your receive signal should be much better than that. And I don't know where your antenna is. Where's the antenna for the receiver there? The same thing as there, been. It's been a Yagi that, you know, pointed out the window towards Mount Hamilton. I mean, before it used to come in uh, quite strong, so, but I don't know what happened. But I do have VCR running um, at work, because, you know, over at NASA, where I got a clear shot to the mountaintop. And what basically I did is I just stuck in a six-hour tape, and then when I left the end of the day, I put it on a record. It's on the EP mode. So then I have the recording that I did before when I was using my Sony camcorder. Now I'm feeding a video signal from my ENG camera. But I'm also on the battery power of it, because right now I need to test uh, how long these lithium-ion batteries. They say that they last, like, they're good for 100 minutes. And so, so far, I've been running it for about, ooh, I guess, about 70 minutes. Uh, I want to go ahead and check, take a look at the voltage. Oh, by the way, why don't you call for Brian? Maybe he's on the tube. Hello? Yes, who is that? W2NYC. Hey, Mike, just to let you know, you got a killer signal tonight. Killer signal. K6MFW. <laughs> yeah, it's like a P12 picture. It's beautiful. Hey, just a quick hello, everybody. It's Mike, the noisy kid. Just jump in and say hello. And uh, Mike, thanks for your help, support during field day, and all your uh, ever, all your other evolutions and field day as well, as well as the flea market. Uh, it's always neat to have you come down and doing show and tell. Hey guys, I just got back from the Claremont Hotel. We had a big, huge bash down there with the company, a gathering of the minds, if you will. And uh, to my, tonight's my wife's birthday. I just walked in the door. I knew it was ATV night tonight. Just want to jump in at least uh, say hello, good evening, and uh, wish everyone well. Hey, thanks there, noisy kid. Thanks, Mike. I'm glad you jumped in there and wish your wife a very happy birthday from the uh, ATV group here. Roger, Roger. Thank you for the warm wishes. I'll pass them along. Guys, take care. Have a good evening. 7 3. Uh, see, Mike MFW does what to who? Oh, anyway. <laughs> see you guys. K6 Kilo. Good evening, all. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what that says right there. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's hard for me to read it on this end. Yeah. La Truck Zu Hawk. What is that? K L I N I K? K L I N I K. What is that? Basically, an article from, I believe, a German publication uh, where Connie Francis will, was going to have a uh, duet with Neil Sadaka last week. Unfortunately, she. Uh, had high blood pressure and had to go to the hospital. She really wanted to do the show. She brought all her gowns and all her stuff in hopes of getting better that day, but just, you know, couldn't do it and had to go to the hospital. So anyway, this was like an article in a, in a German uh, publication. Got this on the Internet and the fan posted it. So I printed a hard copy of it. So then I kind of put it on the tube uh, to show everybody. I don't know. I'll have to see how this looks, you know, on the tape uh, with that. Uh, unlike my Sony camcorder, this one does not have a title over overlay, so occasionally I need to show my call sign right here. Mic up just a little higher. Let's see if I can, that does better. Okay, I think when I was um, listening to the tape and I was doing the camcorder, uh, the, you know, I was just over-modulating the signal quite a bit. So now it gets us kind of like microphone technique. Um, hopefully it's okay, because uh, cause I remember when I, when I looked at that, that videotape, it was oh, kind of hard. Hard. <laughs> it's really hard to understand.